Thursday, my friends. <clears throat> I'm using these videos as a way to self-chronicle what's happening during the coronavirus. So it is Thursday and I've been home since, in effect, Sunday. So here we are. Here's the thing that I'm really loving is my yoga practice really feels like mine and entirely mine. So we're not allowed to stream music, so I'm going to have a little bit of a silent disco. Here's what that means. I'm going to play music in one earphone, right, one headphone, so I can hear what's going on. And I'll let you know what the playlist is. I'll include it in the details, and then that way you can boogie along with me, and I'll let you know when I'm going to start it. Yeah? All right. So take a seat. <clears throat> if you have a block, fantastic. Sit up on it. Reach down and hold onto your knees, bring your heart forward and through, take a nice little back bend. You can close your eyes if you like, and as you exhale, rock back. And do that again, bring your heart forward and through. And exhale, rock it back. And one more time, nice and slow, inhale, bring your heart forward and through. And as you exhale, rock it back. And then find your neutral territory. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's start our practice together with the sound of an OM. Inhale. Oh. All right, open your eyes. The playlist I'm using is called The Last Practice of Mexico. It's from when I was in Mexico with my good friends and co-teacher Lily Dwyer Begg. I just pushed start. Tuck your toes underneath. Sit your hips on your heels. If it's just too, too much, you can set a block underneath of your knees. The higher the block, the more support. All right, so I'll just say this for ease of reference. And then just as you're fanning out your toes, Interlace your fingers all the way up to the webbing. Stretch your arms to the sky. Take a big breath in. Look up for a moment so you can press your index fingers up. And then look forward. Put your head right inside of your frame. And from your armpits, as though you bisected them, start to lift up through your hands. And at the same time, from your armpits, root all the way down into your feet. Even gently draw the ribs in. Feel yourself moving in two directions at the same time. Take a big full breath in, and as you exhale, simply let it go, release. Set your blocks to the side, come to your hands and knees. And then from your tabletop, tuck your toes, come to plank pose. Use this as a measure. Set it up hand, hand, foot, foot. Go down into your left hand as you go up and back through your right leg. Go down into your right hand as you go up and back through your left leg. Take a breath, come forward with your chest, and then take it to a dog, come up and back. So I'm gonna keep a little bend in my knees, right? So that I'm not shouldering the whole pose. It's not all in my arms. I've got some weight up into my legs, up into my hips. And then I slowly just open the feel of the back of the legs just as much as I'm going up through my seat, I'm going down into my feet. And then giving this a cross reference, can you go down through your left hand and up through your right hip? Keep whatever territory, whatever gains you just made, go down into your right hand, go up through your left hip. And then take your heart forward, as though looking out between your arms. Come forward to plank pose, take a breath in. Keep your heels nice and high for this one, take it to a dog, bend your knees. Forward to plank pose, inhale, down to a dog, bend your knees. Now use your springs, inhale, exhale, in, ex, in, ex, in, ex. Three. Two, one, forward plank pose. Exhale to your belly. Inhale, rise up to cobra. Take a breath in. 
Exhale as you lower all the way back down. Add to it. Inhale, rise up. Maybe lift your hands. Lift your feet. Exhale as you lower down. Stay with that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale down. Inhale, rise up. Can you keep the cobra hood from the space of the back of the neck all the way around to the space between your eyebrows? Can you keep that open and long? The next time you're up, rise up and hold. Flip your palms to the sky. Make an easy little fist, a mushti mudra. Bring your elbows up and back, your heart a little higher. Keep reaching up through your toes, back through your legs. And then place your hands down, cobra or upward facing. Take it there, rise up, breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Exhale completely. And then moving as though you have springs. Bend your knees, look forward, step your right foot between your hands. Don't worry if it doesn't land all the way. You can always set your hands on your blocks if you have them available. So you've got a little bit of levity. Step back to a dog. Left foot forward, see where you're going. Step back, downward facing. Find your own rhythm and go for it. Three, two. The next time your right foot is forward, stay. Move your blocks out of the way. Take your arms now, nice and wide. Plug in your right knee into your right armpit. Settle in. Slide your back foot back until you're way up on the ball of the foot. Breathe out. Take it to down dog lunge. Spin your left toes out to the left. Take your hands somewhere around 10 o'clock. And then just get long, creating a little bit of a slope from your seat all the way to your fingers. Maybe stay dynamic. Make some circles in your right hip. Move into it. And then finally, turn your hands, turn your feet to the long edge of your mat. Take a breath, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. And then roll up, rise up. Take your arms to the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, two to the top. Moving with your breath through your flying warrior, through center. Arms up, maybe even look up. Two to the back, exhale. With your own breath, inhale. Last one. Two to the front and stay. Inhale, revolve your pose. Reach back, hold your head with your right hand. Sit a little bit more deeper, more deeply rather, into the right leg. Maybe even wrap the left arm behind your back, sitting into it at three. Open the space, right hip to right arm hip. Two. Come on back to your warrior two. Windmill your hands down to frame up your right foot, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, take it to a dog. Breath in, breath out. Bend your knees, lunge your left foot through. Take your hands wide. Plugging your knee into your armpit, take your fingertips out. All right, so you settle in, you build the architecture, you build the frame. You just keep lengthening the canvas of your torso along the frame of your leg. And then take it to down dog lunge, spin your right toes to the right. Walk your hands out to the right. And so now with this diagonal, you get the opportunity to create some slope in the spine, some sweetness in the spine, all while working the opening of this left hip. Move it around, make it feel fluid and dynamic. And then pause it. 
Turn it around. Face the long edge of your mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold and in. Rise to stand. Reach up just like before. Take your arms to the sky. Two to the top, left toes forward. Fly your way through center. Reach up. Two to the back. Through center. Two to the top. Last round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two to the top. Stay with all of your pose. So you get some support, holding your head with your left hand, maybe your right arm behind your back. Keep sitting into the left knee as you reach up through your left elbow. Come on back to your warrior two. Windmill your hands down, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to the dog. Take a breath in, a little static shake, stick out your tongue. Lion's breath and land. Land in your feet, land in your arms. Land in your breath. Today is the first day of spring. Bend your knees. Big old step, right foot through. No rush, set it up. Take your arms wide. This time right in two, as though moving into a warrior one stance, left toes out to the left. Bring your right hand to the inside. Flip it around. Put your left palm on your back. Lengthen your tail into your hands. And then go into the imagination. In your mind's eye, go out through the crown of the head out through the toes, and then turn your heart. Reach your left arm sky. As you inhale, come straight up. Simply spin onto the ball of your back foot. <clears throat> back foot, take it into a high lunge. Step your left foot forward, come low into your Utkatasana. Big step back with your right foot, arms back. Inhale, Utkatasana, take a breath in. Exhale, step your left leg back. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, Utkatasana. Last time, exhale, left leg. Inhale, come to Utkatasana, take a breath in. Rise to stand. Hands to your heart, exhale. With your breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Bend knee, downward facing, step or hop to it. Plant your hands. From your dog, step your left foot through. Take your arms wide. And so get plugged in. Spin your right toes out, think more warrior one. Left hand inside. Right hand to your back. Lift the tail feather. Finding just enough length through the tail that that comes forward into the crown. Keep reaching the spine, the heart forward, and then take a turn. Spin around your axis, take your right hand high. Let this left knee firmly press your left shoulder. And then rise to stand. Right into your two. Take it to a high lunge, take a breath in. Step your right foot forward, Utkatasana. Get low with it. Here we go. Left foot back. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, left leg. Last one. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, Utkatasana. Take a breath. Rise to stand. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Strand on a scrubby. Inhale, bend your knees. Take a breath in. Reach up. Exhale, fold in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Chaturanga, or bent knee, downward facing, up to you. Finish your Vinyasa. Breath in, breath out. 
Bend your knees, lunge your right foot forward, rise, warrior one, all on the breath in. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Take it to a dog. Bend your knees, left foot forward, rise, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands down, Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to a dog. Hmm. There you are. Inhale, rise to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, look forward. Don't worry about it. Just walk, step, or fly. Take a little float. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, Utkatasana. Rise to stand. Number two. Inhale, Utkatasana. Take a breath. Exhale, fold in half. Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. Chaturanga step flow. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot forward, rise, warrior one. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot forward. Rise, warrior one. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to a dog. All right, so this time let's play a little bit. Walk your feet in like you're going to sneak attack it. All you're going to do is think, can I bend my knees? Maybe the option is to straighten the legs, but really feel the inherent spring of the leg, or start to take a little hop and land, and hop and land. Last one, we'll take it to the top of the mat. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold and half. Find it with Katasana, take a breath in. Rise to stand. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, Utkatasana, take a breath. Exhale, fold in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Plank pose. Breathe your plank. Take it to a dog. From your dog, step your right foot forward, rise, warrior one, all on the breath in. And reach across, hold your opposite elbows. Root down into your back heel as you bend your front knee. And then imagine from the armpit, you're gently lifting up through your arm. At the same time from your armpit, you're reaching all the way back down into your left heel. Spin off the ball of your back foot, bring your hands to your heart. Stepping into your warrior three, step to balance. If and when you're ready, sweep your arms behind you, perhaps even interlace your fingers. Find a little rise through your heart. And then stand up, bring your left leg with you. Catch it for a moment, interlace your fingers. Find your balance. And take the brick shots in a tree pose. You're gonna rest your left arm on your left leg. Maybe add a mudra, index finger to thumb. Take your right arm to the sky. 
Good, nice and long. And then take it to a leaning tree, leaning towards your left leg. Come on back up. Both arms to the sky, left leg in. Big step back, arms back behind you. Place your fingertips to the ground. Get as light as you can. Switch your step, left foot forward. Switch your step, right foot forward. Place your palms to the earth. Change the transition. Pull your right foot in. Round your back. Inhale, sweep it back behind you. Take a breath. Shift it forward to plank pose. And then Vashyasthasana, side plank. Can you hover your right foot? Take your right arm to the sky. And step your right foot behind you nice and easy. Take it around to wild thing. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Through a cleansing vinyasa, but a little variation, plank pose. First to your belly. Inhale, rise a cobra. Pick up your hands, pick up your feet. Flip your palms to the sky, make your mushti mudra. Draw your elbows up and back. Set it down, cobra upward facing, take a breath. Down dog, exhale. Bend your knees, left foot through, rise, warrior one. Hold your opposite elbows. Settle inside of your frame. Stretch your right heel back as you bend your left knee. All right, so it's a long stance. From your armpits, rise up. And from your armpits, root all the way down. Stay for a breath. Bring your hands to your heart. Easy. Spin onto the ball of your back foot. Secure up your belly. Step to warrior three. Step to balance. And once you feel steady and sturdy, sweep your arms back. If your interlacing thing leads to visual grip, press your palms together. Three. Two. Just like a pendulum swing, stand up. Bring your right leg with you. Catch your shin. Hold on tight for a moment. How strong can you make the leg that you're standing on? And then take it to your Vrikshasana, your tree pose. So on your right arm, rest on your right leg. Your left arm goes high. As you take it to your leaning tree, it's coming from your rib cage. Lean over. Open the blinds of the ribs. Let in some light. Three. Two. Come on back to center, take a breath in. Big step back into a lunge, your arms will go with you. Nice and easy, set your hands to the ground. Come up onto your fingertips, here we go. Switch, right foot forward. One more time, left foot forward. Plant your palms. Pick up your left leg. Sweep it back behind you. Take a breath. And then come forward to a plank pose, but keep your left leg lifted if possible to a side plank. No rush, take your left arm high. And then you step your left foot behind you. Turn, sweep it around. Wild thing. Adho downward facing dog, exhale. From your dog, plank pose. Exhale to your belly. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Pick up your hands, pick up your feet. Flip your palms, mushti mudra, draw it back. Hands down, cobra up dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Hmm. From your dog, bend your knees. Right foot through, warrior one. And then bring your hands to your heart. Adding your twist to your right, hooking your left armpit across. All right, so as you bring your armpit across, can you keep rooting through your back heel? That's where you get the full flush of your twist. Okay, here's our transition. 
Look down at your right toes, that can be helpful. Spin all the way onto the ball of your back foot and lift your heel so you're in a super high heel. You're gonna split your hands and as you do that, straighten your front leg so there's a crisscross elbow to shin. Flip your left hand around. Flip your right palm around and then fight for it. Fight for the balance. Fight for the twist. Turning, turning, turning around the axis of your spine. And then to let it go. Rebend your knee, bring your hands to your heart. Right back round, armpit across knee. Step your left foot forward, you're in a twisted Utkatasana. Come on down, stay in your twist. Decide if you want to stay here, rock it out. Or out of side crow, Parjvabhakasana. Breathing at three. Two. To let it go, come to center, fold in half. Uttanasana. Separate your feet hips width. Catch your breath in your Panagustasana. You're wrapping your big toes, wrapping your thumbs all the way around. And then find that little benevolent resistance, pressing down into the toes, but pulling up through your hands. Open the feel of the back of the legs. Release your hands to your hips. Find not just a flat back, but a little back bend, elbows high, rise to stand. Bring your right leg with you. Take it to a figure four, crisscross ankle to thigh, hands to your heart. Sit back. No rush. Find your Utkatasana, feet hips width, take a breath in. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, your choice, Vinyasa or downward facing. All right, my friends, last warrior set. Bend your knees, step your left foot through, rise, warrior one. All right, so it's a warrior one, but can you keep a really long stance? Bring your hands to your heart, and we're going to use that long stance to really get the most out of the twist. Take your time. Press your right heel back. Slide your right armpit across. It's a holy moly of a pose. And turn. And keep turning. There we are. And we're going to spin onto the ball of the back foot. So look down, help yourself to balance. Ooh, yeah, it's super balancy. Once you've spun onto the ball of your back foot, as you straighten the front leg, you split your hands. So my X marks the spot that's way down here at the shin. Flip your hands. Left hand can start at your back, and then maybe, just maybe, take it up. I'm giving it everything I've got. No part of you can be left behind. Breathe at three, two. Come right back into your twist. Step your right foot forward. And then lower your hips down, staying in your twist. Same option to take it to your side crow. And then let it go, fold in half. Separate your feet hips with distance. This time, slide your hands behind your heels and fold. Bring your hands to your hips. Exhale. Elbows to the sky. Rise all the way up. Bring your left leg with you. So figure four, crisscross your ankle to your thigh, bring your hands to your heart, sit back. And as you're sliding back as though there's a deep bench behind you, keep spreading out your left toes, even <clears throat> aiming especially your baby toe towards your outer ankle. Come on back to your Utkatasana and take a breath in. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to back bend. 
Exhale to a duck. Knees to the earth. Child's pose. 